Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Tech Bros podcast, starring myself, Egerton, and... And Raj, hello, hi. Hello, everyone, how are you? <laughs> Too bad, what? we come We come to you live from, from the Zoomiverse. The what-verse? The Zoomiverse, we're both, we're both in the same Zoom yes. room-verse. Yes, and from that... Can you guess what today's topic's going to be? Yeah, we're 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 talking we're talking about inhabiting the same virtual world that we that we know as metaverse. And yes. I don't know about all of you, but I hate it. <laughs> you really? <laughs> I mean, I just I kind of hate everything that that this looks like. Yeah, it represents. Yeah, same here. But yes, today we're going to be talking about meta. Uh, metaverse by Meta. <laughs> well, not, not specific. I mean, I guess it's it's by Meta now, but yes. it didn't necessarily start as being by Meta. And no. by Meta we mean Facebook. <laughs> oh yeah. So if if you've been living under a rock, by now you should have noticed that Facebook has now changed their name to Meta. And you know what? I, I I don't understand. Well, so so I guess the <laughs> Facebook itself, like the application Facebook, is the same, but it's yes. the parent company that I guess is Facebook, and they've changed the name of that to Meta. Yeah. Or Meta plat Meta platform specifically. Yes. Yes. Formerly um, known as Facebook Incorporated. Yes, yeah. they should have kept it the same. But uh, hey ho, um, and I think with that, I believe there was some sort of backlash with that name change, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess like Meta as a as a name, and in terms of its connotations, yes. you know, it it implies a sense of all encompassing and kind of uh, it, we own everything. Yeah, basically. <laughs> We own the world. Yeah, so a lot of people want. I think more people would just wouldn't uh, didn't like it on the basis of we just don't like the name. You should have kept it. You should have just kept it as Facebook. And then others, you know, because of the meaning behind it, that mm. um, people weren't happy with it either. So, yeah, it wasn't really widely met with open arms. I think it also it. It does say a lot about you know what we'll be talking about with this metaverse thing. Like if you think about uh, what Facebook is trying to do yeah. in the future, the name change makes sense. Mm-hmm. But I just hate the name and what they're trying to do. <laughs> yeah, same. I'm not for it. I'm not for it. So let's 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 uh, let's take a step back and let's define what a metaverse is. Hmm. So it is, it is essentially a, a 3D virtual world where you can interact with other people who are also in the same world. And yes. usually this is done by sort of virtual reality or augmented reality. And usually these spaces are essentially another world where you have your own kind of virtual uh, kind of activities. You have your own avatar and usually you, you also have a sort of virtual economy as well. And these things can get sort of pretty complex in terms of having, say, work as well, like jobs you do within this sort of world. Mm-hmm. And so it's kind of like the science fiction thing of like having this other world that you go to. It's yeah. kind of that. And you're actually starting to see companies take that very seriously and actually trying to make it come to come to fruition. Yeah. Yeah. You know, funny enough, while you were saying that, you know what came to mind? Yeah. You know, um, on um, God, this is going to be so bad. Um, is it Star Trek? Mm-hmm. 
uh, holodeck. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it reminds, me, it reminds me of Holodeck. Oh yeah. And um because I think Holodeck was like you could actually make all your own, you can make um your um all these all these different types of worlds, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that. Mm. But it's just that you're you're there, but the world around you is basically all made up. So yeah, all made up. Yeah, all made up. up. Yeah. yeah, I guess yeah. we're looking at it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, just focusing more on where you said about virtual reality, and um, I was looking on the Meta website earlier that um, they were promoting their Quest Two um, device. Yeah, by Oculus. By Oculus, yes. Because um, as we know, the Oculus also belongs to Meta. Yeah, I guess it's Meta, not not Facebook. But yeah. No, yeah, Meta. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they were promoting their Quest 2 um, um, device and how, you know, you could um, use it for all different things, virtual reality. Um, for yeah, gaming, yeah, gaming was the uh thing that they're all most kind of um focusing on with that device as yeah. well. I mean, and we should say that that, that really metaverse kind of stems from, from games, uh, yeah. originally. Mm-hmm. So, one of the first examples is the 2003 uh platform known as Second Life, which was described as the first metaverse. If you if sort of looking back at it now, yeah. Um, but also, kind of a lot of the things that the metaverse is doing has kind of been done in video games. Like you have like Minecraft, and more recently you have Fortnite. You have Roblox, where you have actually these. You know, they're not just games, and they're becoming more like spaces for people to interact. Mm-hmm. Um, but then you can sort of say the same about like things like World of Warcraft, like some of those older multiplayer games where, mm. you know, people are all together inhabiting the same world. They're represented by an avatar. They have sort of their own economy and things like work that people can do. Yeah. Um, but I guess there the difference is that, you know, it's a game versus something which is sort of going one step beyond that mm-hmm. and instead going into sort of VR and sort of creating an alternate reality, I guess you could say. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And um, another thing that they kind of were talking about was um, augmented reality. Augmented. Augmented, yeah. <laughs> that's me That's me misspelling. Yeah, so augmented re- reality enhancing experiences as well. Yeah. And... Um, one thing that I did notice as well, which was kind of um, a bit weird, also on the Meta website, smart glasses. Mm, yeah. And then it mentioned Ray-Ban stories. Ray-Ban? Is it like the sunglass people? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, so what's the deal with that? So Ray-Ban, and well, it says Facebook, but let's just say Meta, um, have joined um, forces to integrate ca- a, a camera into Ray Ray yeah. <laughs> to integrate a camera into Ray Ban sunglasses. Wow! And that is where you know you can document, you know, we're going, um, create stories as well. So I thought that was a bit weird, so and I was like. But, that was kind of a I, I would not imagine this sort of partnership yes yeah, so you just want to you want to look cool while you're while you're in in the matrix i guess yeah <laughs> i was like that's like it, it doesn't really fit into metaverse per <laughs> se because you're you're still in you're still you're still in normal world just wearing sunglasses with a camera yeah which kind of reminds me of Snapchat, you know the Snapchat glasses as well. Snapchat glasses? Yeah. 
What's that? Right, so... <laughs> <laughs> right, so a, a while ago, Snapchat had um, glasses where you could go out and you could snap. Right. Um, whilst you're, <clears throat> so instead of using your phone... Um, yeah, here it is. It's called Spectacles by Snap, right? Okay. And um, whilst, we're this, uh, whilst we're talking about this, I'll send this to you to have a look as well. But okay. same, same exact concept as um, the smart glasses, which is just there for you to just um, document what you mm-hmm. do what you're what you're doing yeah so okay oh, wow yeah interesting very so yeah i don't know where that fits with meta with metaverse per se but i guess I it's one admit. way where you yeah it's one way of kind of visualizing this alternate world this yeah virtual world essentially so you could do it within the glasses rather than in a vr headset yeah um which I guess is interesting. <laughs> mm. Exactly. Exactly. But I did see the price of them. So yeah, how much? Well, in US dollars, you're looking at 299 US. Oh, I was expecting more than that. Well the thing the thing is when you start adding features to it, then it starts to mount up. That's just for basic. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and especially if you want them to make, if you want to make them prescription um, sunglasses as well, then that also comes as a cost. If you want it as a different, a kind of different lens, that comes as a cost. So, you know, that's just, that's just the base price. But I should um, say that an Oculus Quest 2 does start at £299. Oh, wow. So, so um, actually, well, price-wise, they're about the same, yeah. Yeah, about the same. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah. But but yeah. Hmm. I don't. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I'm just thinking. Like, could you? Could you imagine? You're you're in your um. You're in um your house, and you're going. You're due to come to a meeting. Are you? You join the meeting in the metaverse. I mean, if, if you think about it, like, it's not that much of a, and I'm not saying it's a good idea, but I'm just saying it's not that much of a stretch from what you, what we kind of do, did during lockdown, where we're all in sort of Zoom rooms. There was this thing called, like, there's this, uh, not a metaverse, but it was like a, a game system where you're in like this 2D village and you could uh-huh. walk up to people and the closer you were to people, the louder they were in your, in terms of like, when you could hear them like in, oh. in sort of a like say if you had zoom yeah the people who would you would hear more are the people who you're closer to in this virtual world yeah. basically so it's not that far from that but i think those things are designed very much as games as like distractions whilst this is meant to be like a whole yeah. other world is like the, the step that they're kind of making yeah yeah i just don't know how i feel about that it's like you 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 join the meeting and then you just see a pop up uh, on top of your well I wouldn't say emoji per se because it's not really an emoji is it yeah um avatar I think avatar yeah, yeah avatar and then the message above your avatar says Egerton has entered the room yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I should say that the term metaverse uh, comes from a 1992 science fiction novel called Snow Crash by Neil Stevenson. Uh-huh. And the idea is it's supposed to be a, a sort of a VR successor to the internet is what it was supposed to be before. Um, yeah. Which is not too far from what it is now. And I think it's really interesting when I find that science fiction novels are able to predict these sorts of things like years in advance. Um, Just like The Simpsons. Yeah, like basically like The Simpsons. Like I'm always amazed <laughs> at these sorts of things, but... Yeah. I also but I also like if you read those sorts of things, it's meant to be like quite dystopian. And usually it's meant to be 
the makers of whatever technology it is is supposed to envision it as some kind of incredible thing that's going to make our lives better but then it ends up being bad <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> you know so it's like i don't know maybe we could listen to that in some ways that would yeah. be nice mm-hmm. yeah exactly we shall we shall do that but with the metaverse being all good and proper, there's also, you know, the downsides to the metaverse as well. And should we say on the basis of um, well, what is well, ped- pedos. I suppose that's one way of looking at it, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, being safe in the metaverse as well. Because what... I mean, I'm just trying to think how to even phrase this. What protections do people have being in the metaverse? Because technically you can classify the metaverse as also being the same as an online chat room, per se. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it's a glorified chat room. Is essentially what it is. Like you can yeah. you can dress it up with other things, but that's what it is, really. Yeah. So yeah, it's just a worry that you know what protections are there for people, um, that you know could be potentially underaged or vulnerable, mm-hmm. and um, how can they can be protected from you know horrible people. And and what I recommend is that people look up the uh, this video by it's a YouTube channel called People Make Games and it's about Roblox and Roblox yeah. is this I guess the closest you can get to a metaverse within sort of the video game landscape basically yeah um, so it's not VR it's a it's a it's a game based thing but even in that you have loads of reports of of harassment and of yeah. particularly of underage. Because Roblox, a lot of their user base are children, are under mm-hmm. 18. And so yeah. there are no protections in there. And the company seems to be very uh, blasé about any sort of reports about it. So, mm-hmm. And actually, I think they made a couple of videos about them just because they kept investigating it. It's some, it's some really good journalism, but they kept investigating it and the company just didn't want to make any real changes or take the report seriously. So See, we can't scary. even do it. Like, clearly we can't do it now. We can't manage these things. And that's because if you want to create another world, in the real world, we have a justice system. We have a policing system. We have things that, like, keep people from being idiots. But they don't have that. (laughs) No. (laughs) And you have anonymity in in this world as well, really. Yeah, exactly. Which is really the, the main thing that causes people to act like idiots. Yeah, so yeah, I w- I would really want to know what kind of fail safes that you know people have. I just don't think they can have fail safes because yeah. you know you can have you can have loads of moderators to try and do this sort of thing, but Facebook has loads of moderators on their platform at the moment, but that doesn't stop the problem, does it? Well, to be honest, even in terms of Facebook moderators, you, you you see something that shouldn't be on Facebook, you report it, and this is for Facebook and Instagram. You report it, and they say that there's no, there's no issue. Yeah. <laughs> they say it doesn't break codes of conduct. Thank you. So it's like, you know... Are these the same moderators that are going to be in the metaverse? Because if so, you know, there's just no, there's just no luck at all. And I assume it would be a similar thing of the moderators on Facebook at the moment who have to look through as part of their job. Yeah. Hundreds of photos, videos and whatever every day of like yeah. horrible stuff that they have to look through. Yeah. The stuff that probably we don't even see, like there's some. You know, I can't even imagine, right? Yeah. So it's already bad enough without any sort of metaverse thing. Yeah. And, you know, you then have the issue of people who get too immersed in, in something like this. Exactly. People who 
at least with like video games, there's a sense of separation. People do get, you know, people do get lost in video games and that's, yeah. you know, a thing. Um, we should actually do an ex- episode on sort of video game addiction research because it's kind of interesting. Like, I think a lot of it hasn't, they haven't found a lot, but it, it still is kind of a persistent area of research. So let's yeah. make a note of that. <laughs> I'm but, doing that right now. <laughs> but generally, there's a separation between video games and, and real life. But the but the thing they're trying to do here is to not have that separation be as clear, mm-hmm. and so it's more likely that people can sort of get lost in it. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, you know, to, the thing is, time will tell on how um, Meta will play out. But you know, let's just hope that we don't see stuff about a metaverse in the news for bad reasons that's the one thing that you know we we would hope not to see well i i I may be very skeptical but i just think it's going to be very Mm. i think it's inevitable that we will yeah and eventually you know and that's kind of the thing right but yeah i think the way that they that companies want to sort of sell it as being very you know utopian but Mm -hmm. i just don't think that there's just so many practicalities in terms of actually getting it to be of use and like Mm -hmm. for use for what though i just think what's the what's the point really yeah (laughs) yeah exactly what is the point just live in this live live in the now (laughs) yeah and the thing is you can even look at like virtual reality kind of separate from metaverse like virtual reality games and stuff like that Hmm. um you can maybe look at 10 15 years ago where everyone thought that virtual reality was going to be a huge thing yeah and it hasn't really taken off that much no in the grand scheme of things vr is really good you know you can have some great games on vr yeah and it can be very you know it can offer up possibilities that weren't possible before Mm. But it hasn't, I don't think it's been the game changer that people thought it was going to be. And I think a lot of that is just because we don't really know what to, we don't really know what to do with it. No, no, no. And I think that, to be honest, we haven't heard a lot about VR per se. Like, especially, you know, when we used to be going to events mm-hmm. and, you know, we see VR, uh, VR and all that kind of stuff. But I think for a good number of years now since that we kind of I think the last EGX we went to that you just don't have VR per se anymore I think it's it's gone through it's it's sort of it's boom it's gone through the years of it gaining a lot of popularity lots of companies getting in on it yeah but at the end of the day you need software for it you need things to use it yeah for. and there are cool games that have managed to make use of it like you know, Beat Saber, the one where you're holding lightsabers and slashing things, like a rhythm game. Yeah. That's cool. Um, Valve made Half-Life Alex, which is probably like the definitive VR game at the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's like a few things which are like, yeah, it's cool. It's using the medium to do cool things, but it's not changed things in quite the way that I think we thought it would. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like it certainly hasn't usurped existing like games, right? Like people are still just playing games the, the same way. It's just another thing that's kind of for the hobbyists, I guess. Yes, that is true. That is true. All right. Did we have anything else on metaverse or meta per se? Um, was there anything else that I had? Yeah, um, neither did I. I don't think there's anything else. I mean, a lot of people are saying I just will add one thing, which is that there's a lot of talk about how feasible it is to have like a metaverse of every like loads of people all in the same space to create a world and the amount of computing power that would that would require. Oh, um, yeah. But again, it's that thing of, yes, it might be, you know, could it be possible? I don't know, maybe. But then how can that be good? <laughs> <laughs> of just everyone like you know like I, it's, I feel like we just we don't learn from science fiction in a way like the yeah people don't watch the matrix <laughs> it wasn't nice <laughs> it wasn't nice at all 
wasn't nice at all. But yeah, as I said, time will, time will tell, really, um, because, you know, kind of Metaverse is kind of at the start of its time. Well, yeah. the current, yeah, with, and with it Meta and everything. So, um, yeah, I'm sure over the next couple of years, you know, we'll see how, how far we really go with this. Did you did you see the reveal with with the avatar of Mark Zuckerberg? Oh my god! <laughs> Hi, I'm Mark Zuckerberg. I feel like that should tell you everything you need to know right there. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, honestly. If you could see my face when I was watching that, I was just like, "What is this? What?" Like, that's is the this? guy. That's the guy that we had, you know, managing this. Like, do you yeah. Should, okay, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Anywho, yes, but yes, that's all we have on the metaverse. Yes, and that is all. Yeah, we we we're just sitting here in sadness. Yeah, we're sitting here in <laughs> sadness in our in our Zoomiverse. <laughs> Zoomiverse. Yeah. Yes, well, that's all we've got time for today. Um, as per usual, we hope that you like, comment, and subscribe and share our content. It does help us out. And um, yeah, um, we hope to see you soon. In the metaverse. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But, um, but yeah, <laughs> good night, everyone. Bye. Thank mm-hmm. you.